my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. There was a story about a mother carrying her child in her arms was asked by a prosecutor in a court to renounce her faith in God. Her child cried out to the prosecutor, Jesus Christ is the true God. The prosecutor asked the child, Who told you so? My mother, replied the child. And who told to your mother? Asked the prosecutor again. God told her. The child answered him. My dear brothers and sisters, in the teachings of the Catholic Church, the parents are the first missionaries, the first catechists, and the first teachers to their children. They get this responsibility of first teachers when their children are baptized. The readings reminds us that God's choice of us was not a product of chance, but a deliberate one. Thus, this Sunday, the church provides us with an excellent opportunity to ask ourselves these crucial questions. What is God's purpose for choosing me as his disciple or follower? Am I fulfilling this purpose or not? In our first reading, God chose a poor farmer, Amos, to prophesy in Israel's northern kingdom. God had a purpose for this. He knew there were prophets there. However, they were not his choice because they had compromised their calling. They were corrupt and distracted by materialism. So they no longer delivered justice or spoke of truth. Instead of speaking, for the poor and the oppressed, they worked for their pockets, accounts, and stomachs. Hence, in their place, God chose Amos. Despite the opposition and challenges he faced from the professional and paid prophets, he fulfilled God's purpose for choosing him. He was not tamed by the corruption or by the corruption and the materialism of his time. In our second reading, Paul not only reminds us that God chose us in Christ, he equally reminds us of the reason he chose us. And the reason is to be holy and spotless and to live through love in his presence, that we should become his adopted children. This is the remote purpose of God's choice for each and every one of us. If we do not compromise this primary purpose, we shall become outstanding disciples and instruments for his mission. So, as no disciple lives for himself or herself alone. And the secondary goal of God's choice of us is to reach out to others. And that is to develop a missionary spirit. And my dear brothers and sisters, in today's gospel, Jesus highlights the choice and purpose of his disciples. Christ called his disciples and strengthened their faith through his teaching and miracles. In other words, he took time to prepare and nourish them spiritually. Afterward, he sent them out as missionaries to preach to others. That is a mission 
to their community and the world. Finally, obeying Christ's instruction is a sure means of fulfilling his purpose for choosing us as his disciples. At the same time, neglecting it is the easiest way of losing focus. So we must continually remind ourselves that God chose us for a purpose. So let us try to achieve it. And today, let us ask God to grant us his graces to fulfill his purpose.